The weekend box office numbers are in, and the war film called Lone Survivor, which is based on a true story, took in more than $38 million in the opening weekend. One of the soldiers portrayed in that film, Matthew Axelson, was born and raised in Cupertino. He was killed in action. The film, starring Mark Wahlberg, is based on the 2007 memoir by the same name, Lone Survivor. Crown Force Philippe Chagall sat down with Matthew Axelson's mother, who says she was moved by the film. I was sitting beside Cindy, Matthew's widow, and we were fine during the movie. It was at the very end when they show the um, photographs of the 20 men that were involved. And then when it came to Matthew's photograph, there was a military photograph of him, and then there was a video clip from his wedding. And that was really hard. But when Donna Axelson says she left the private screening of the film at Universal Studios last May, she and her husband came away from it feeling good about how the story on Operation Red Wings was told. They were also impressed by Ben Foster's work, the actor who played Matthew in the movie. We felt that Ben did a phenomenal job. Donna says her family visited the movie set in New Mexico before filming and chatted with Foster, giving him all of the information he needed to tell Matthew's story. This is a photo of Matthew and his close friend James Suh, who was also a Navy SEAL, killed in the battle. I think it did a wonderful job of showing moviegoers what our military does to protect us here in America. In all, 19 Navy SEALs were killed in action that deadly day. One of the men earned the Medal of Honor. For his actions, Matthew was awarded the Navy Cross. His mother says he didn't always want to be a Navy SEAL, but after college, she says he felt like he needed to give back to his country. And that he most certainly did. And aside from the movie, Matthew Axelson and his comrades will forever be remembered here in Cupertino Memorial Park, where a statue stands in their honor, thanking them for their sacrifices. Philippe Chagall, Cron 4 News.